if your computer has become slow or sluggish or you're just looking to get the max performance out of your computer you have stumbled upon the absolute holy grail of step-by-steps on the entire internet bar none and i can guarantee it i challenge anybody to show me any different or any better and if you follow this step by step which by the way regardless of your technological savviness or computer know-how whatever it, it don't matter if you follow these steps in order by the way they're in a particular order for a particular reason to get the most out of this stick to the order don't skip any steps you have to do every single one especially step 10 the very last one is probably the most important one that you can do you got to follow these instructions to a t and i can guarantee with certitude that your computer will be back running as fast as it possibly can given the hardware that makes up your computer i'm going to go through this fast so there'll be a full written article as well as a downloadable pdf that you can print off if you want to go step by step over at my blog at zebolson.com. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step is we need to make sure that our computer is healthy and virus free. I don't care what antivirus program that you are using. I need you to run the full thorough scan and try to get rid of any virus that you have. If after completing all 10 steps of this and your computer still isn't acting quite right then i suggest trying a different antivirus program because this the one that you used may not have caught uh, a, a bug that is causing bad performance on your computer so that's first step run the full thorough not the quick the full thorough it can take some time do it once you do it probably automatically ask you to reboot your computer. If it does not reboot your computer, then move to step two, which is we're going to run some malware removal programs. Malware, spyware, adware, I call it crapware, infects your computer all the time. And it's not only going to be utilizing precious resources and slowing your computer down, but it can also be compromising your personal security as well. I'm talking usernames and passwords. I'm talking uh, possible credit card and banking information. A lot of stuff that you don't want getting out there. And so it's very, very important. And this is going to using uh, these programs and I'm going to have links for each one as well as tutorial videos on how to use each one. Like I said, I want to get through this video quick. So I'm just going to go through the steps and then you can refer to all the links and downloads and how to get this stuff. Each one of these, uh, the, the SpyBot and the Windows are both free and the malware bytes and the super anti spyware both have free demo versions uh, that you'll be able to use for a couple weeks or so and uh, be able to fix your problem so after you've done this obviously after you each after you run each one you're going to reboot your computer and then we're going to move on to step three we are going to remove any old and unnecessary programs on your computer this includes the bloatware, all the useless programs that shipped with your computer that you're never going to use. All the trial versions of stuff that shipped with your computer that you're never going to use. All the stuff that your kids have downloaded that you're never going to use. Everything that you're not going to use, get rid of. If you're unsure of a certain program, open it up. See if you're going to use it. When you decide that you're not going to, because you probably won't, go ahead and remove it. If it looks like something that's important to your computer, just Google it, okay? Do a little research. Find out. You'll be able to find out in seconds just by typing it in Google whether or not it has to stay or whether you can get rid of it. Once you've done that, reboot your computer and move on to step four. We're going to do a disk cleanup here. You're going to go to start. You're going to go to accessories, system tools, disk cleanup. This is going to enable you to remove any temporary internet files, the cache, uh, the error reporting, um, the stuff in your recycle bin. Everything that is absolutely unnecessary, you'll be able to remove through here. Um, click each box unless you want to you know, keep the stuff in your recycle bin like like I like to and then get it removed step five is we are going to go into MS config and we're going to remove startup programs 
oftentimes programs will find their way into the startup menu because they want you using their program and these programs are unnecessary to uh, load up more often than not and they utilize a lot of resources and they're constantly checking for updates and the like and so we're going to go I'm going to show you how to do this real quick uh, click on the Microsoft Windows orb in the bottom left you're going to type in MS config you're going to hit enter and it's going to bring up the system configuration I'm going to click on the startup tab now I'm going to scroll over this menu and drag the horizontal arrow over so I can see the names of the item as well as the manufacturer and I want to go through here and I want to uncheck everything that is absolutely unnecessary things like Adobe Reader and any other program that you have these are all the things that at one time wanted to start up with my computer okay and they are no longer checked the things that I do have checked are the things that I do use often and I want um, and there are some things that are necessary like your operating system yeah that's uh, that's pretty important and whatnot and your security client and whatnot but narrow this list down to as thin as possible once you've done that go ahead and click apply hit OK now we're gonna go over here to the boot tab we're gonna go into this is this is bonus by the way advanced options here okay this you're gonna check this and then you're going to select the highest number you're going to select this and then you're going to hit OK. What this does is it allocates all your system resources into booting your computer instead of just using a few resources. Not sure why that's not automatic, but it's going to help your computer boot up a lot faster, especially given that you've removed a lot of stuff out of your startup programs as well. We're going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to hit Apply. OK, now we're going to hit Services. And then we're going to click on this little box that says hide all Microsoft services. And this is going to show us all the stuff that's running in the background that we are going to put a cease to. This is utilizing resources that you don't really need. So I am going to uncheck Adobe. AMD's my processor. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to uncheck Apple, Bonjour, Game Console Service, iPod Service, uh, the LightScribe, um, the schedule for Malwarebytes, because I, I run my stuff on my, on my own. I don't need it to schedule it for me. Um, Mozilla, don't need that, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. And I'll I do these on my own too. So I'm going to go ahead and you notice I just removed a lot of stuff. And this is all stuff that is running and utilizing uh, resources. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. I'm going to hit OK. Next thing that we're going to do is detect and repair disk errors. Okay, this is pretty simple as well. You're going to go to the Microsoft Windows Orb in the bottom left. You are going to go to your computer. You are going to right click on your hard drive. You are going to go to properties. You are going to click on tools. You are going to click check now. You're going to make sure both of these are checked. You're going to click start and you're going to let that do its work. Once that's done, you're going to go to defragment now. You're going to click that. You're going to let it do its work. And you'll. it recommends that you analyze the disk. So do I. Analyze the disk and defragment the disk. I do this pretty often. So I'm 0% fragmented. And do that. Okay? And then you'll be complete with step number six. Step seven is uh, we're starting to go into prevention mode. I want to caution you when installing uh, programs that you've downloaded and whatnot. Make sure that you click through the steps slowly because 
this is where they can slip in stuff on you, like toolbars for your browsers that you don't want and need and are hard to get rid of sometimes, um, as well as, you know, different software programs that you don't want or need. So go through there, read everything when you're installing stuff. That way they don't slip in some crapware on you. I caution you to use uh, reputable sites, use reputable search engines. If something looks suspicious, proceed with extreme caution if you're going to proceed. Um, you can always, you know, Google things in addition, you know, before you just, you know, download something or whatnot. Also, I caution you not to be gullible when you get a message in email, Facebook, or Twitter that says, hey, here's this crazy picture of you. I can't believe you put this out on the internet. Um, it's probably um, a worm, which when you click on it, goes into your address book and sends that message out to everybody else, just like the person before you that you got the message from probably clicked the thing, it got into their address book and sent it out to everybody else. So if it doesn't sound or look like something that they would send you or doesn't sound like the kind of verbiage that they would use in the dialogue, and if you're, if you're unsure, then just go ahead and ask them before you just, you know, go randomly clicking on things, okay? Step number eight, simplify if need me. If going through the previous steps, particularly the steps after, uh, after two, um, if you would like uh, simplification, then I highly recommend TuneUp Utilities. It's a fantastic software. It's got a free 15-day demo that's fully functional. And uh, one thing that you're really going to like is it's got a one-click maintenance option that does just that. Uh, you double-click it, it runs through everything, you click fix, and boom, it's done. And it basically takes care of a lot of the steps that, that we just went through. Um, there'll be a link in the description of this video on my blog post or the downloadable PDF file for your free demo version. And if you like it and you want to keep it after the demo version, which... By the way, that demo version is going to fix a lot of things. It can even do things in addition to what I talked about that will help get your computer going. So I at least recommend that you try it out and get the benefits from the fully functional version at a minimum. And I will also be doing a full video demonstration on this software as well to show you exactly um, how to use it and how to get the most out of it. Step number nine, I want you to start enjoying your computer running as it should. After going through these steps, your computer should be functioning as well as it was the day you brought it out of the box, possibly even better. But this is all uh, dependent on the components that make up your computer, the RAM, the processor speed, etc., if you have available space, I highly recommend that you upgrade your RAM to max. RAM is really cheap these days, and it's really easy to install. Um, and uh, after um, doing that, if you're still having uh, issues, as I said in, in step one, if you, if you are still having a little bit of issues, you may want to try a different antivirus program and see if it can find a bug that your original antivirus program didn't find. I want to point out that this video is not intended to cure, prevent, or treat any disease in case you were under uh, some false notion that that's what this was. Step 10, as I said in the very beginning of this video, is the most important here. I want you to be excellent to each other. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you're on YouTube, give it a thumbs up. If you're on Facebook, go ahead and like this. Share this video with your friends and family and coworkers so they will all quit whining and crying about how crappy their computer is or is running. Don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel and or uh, my blog over at zebolson.com. Please leave any questions, suggestions, or feedback in the comments. And again, you can find the full article and downloadable PDF with detailed step-by-step -step instructions and links for tutorials and some of the things that I went through a little faster as well as any software that I highlighted. And you can find that over at zebolson.com. So with that, appreciate your time and attention. Share this video, pay it forward. I'm Zeb Olson and I'm committed to your success. Are you Make it a great day.